All right, Sean, thank you. Meanwhile, let's turn our attention to Warren Fitzgerald High School, where the students there following that tragedy just two days ago returned to classes this morning. It was 48 hours after the fatal stabbing of a popular and highly respected 16 year old student. Local force Rod Maloney was there to speak with the students. Here at Warren Fitzgerald High School, they are now searching for anything that resembles normalcy after such terrifying events that happened on Wednesday. As the hundreds upon hundreds of cars made their way through the drop-off line at Warren Fitzgerald High today, the students were understandably apprehensive. Sophomore Trent Crunk didn't know either of the girls involved, yet found himself deeply affected. What are you thinking as you go into school today? Uh, nervous. Yeah, um, just ha happy to see my friends. Senior Dorian Thomas felt equally tentative. It's like, I'm kind of scared, but it's like, I'm a, you know, it don't matter. But yeah, did you know the girls? I, only, I had class with the um, the girl that died fourth hour. Yeah, it's a very sad situation. Mm-hmm. So now what, do you want to keep coming back to the school? I mean, yeah, because it can happen anywhere. Some of the students we spoke with were not at all concerned about their safety. Others weren't happy the school decided to even open at all this week. Trent attended yesterday's memorial and was very glad he did. Sad, you know, happy that it even happened. Yeah, and so do you want to keep coming to the school? Yeah. yeah you're, you feel like it's safe? Mm-hmm. The school district put out a letter to parents asking them to watch their children closely, talk to them, discuss with them what happened, and if they feel that their child needs any more help, that they should reach out to the Macomb County Crisis Center. In the meantime, they've also made counselors available to the students here during the school day. In Warren, Rod Maloney, Local 4.